People were groomed into believing that digital ID was for their benefit. But in reality, it was a way to clamp us into a financially imprisoned society, which was constantly monitored and controlled. They played the cards as if they had lost, but they were the masters of trickery. There was a dark cloud coming, and once the digital nodes were completely in place, they could take you by surprise. The media only told the people what they wanted them to believe. By destroying people's understanding of history, annihilating the truth and inverting human values, it allowed the majority to become docile sleepwalkers to the real control behind the curtains. A control that could only exist with our arrogance, denial and subservience. There was a constant belief that we only existed to survive and we are here only to obey the system. When would we stop and listen to the sounds beyond the veil? The more the force pushed, it revealed the level of their fraud, their own insanity. The lies and the deceit they had told was sickening and people were angry. The corruption was so obvious, but people had been led effectively and believed in their leaders. But it was as if they thought we wouldn't notice it. It would go unseen. Were they really that arrogant? Ultimately, it was society that accepted it. So how could we ever change? Did we need to go to a war? To go through so much suffering again? History went around in loop and we were the hamsters on the treadmill. They wanted a complete financial collapse so the digital ID could be fully introduced to the world. A peace agreement between all the world countries but did all countries want that? Erase all currencies and then just suddenly introduce the digital system to solve the problem? This ID would hold all your health records, your personal data, daily interactions, locations, enslaving your everyday activities. A global social credit system wouldn't follow all based around your national credit and how you behaved in society. Corporations would have more power over society and no democracy, giving you little control of your life. Justified by the bombardment of media propaganda and programming telling you the vision. No one had safe ground, even the wealthy would lose their wealth and then the billionaires would become the sovereign class while the rest of us lived only by our digital IDs. No one would see it until it was switched on. We wouldn't be blinded going to our base needs, scrambling for our own survival. The digital ID was about logging you, regulating, tracking and monitoring you. We never needed it, but it was only for our safety, of course. A bank card served the same purpose, but the banking systems had got out of control. They were power hungry and believed they owned the world and you. Yes, you. They have lived on a high cloud, looking down on the world, not on our level ground, forgetting it is only us, the people, that control the system. We are the operators. It was time to wake up to stop being a sleepwalker. They sold the digital ID so you could get free money with free items. You didn't have to work. This was all for the better world, of course. With all your biometric data would be taking on your life, no privacy, even monitoring you when you sleep and whenever you leave your house. It sounds like insanity to the same, but that's what they desired complete, digitalized and regulated world. Something no one actually wanted, but wasn't told about either. The more it was sold, the more the lies became transparent. 
They tried to blame us for the pain and suffering that they created on a constant basis. But as they went forward in their plan, the more ridiculous they looked. When will they listen and see that their plan will never work? A resistance is strong to the reset, but it could still happen. There was still a chance and it was our choice. But they had to listen beyond the noise, beyond the clutter of lies being thrown at us on all angles. Silence the mind and look within for answers. If the past is erased, then the erasure will be forgotten and the lie becomes the truth. But no matter how much you deny the truth, the truth will carry on existing. A digital ID is the loss of self, a loss of your own expression in the world. From those intense times we understood a deeper part to who we are, why we are existing, how did we get here? True freedom is a right to say something that others don't want to hear. So be free and speak what is true. How do you express yourself? Where do you separate yourself from the physical reality around you?